I just read Jack Lew's article about the weaponization of sanctions and um, about the importance of cooperation. And, you know, it's actually it was actually a really good article and I did agree with him. And um, I, I do recognize that I uh, kind of leave out the Europeans sometimes. Um, but I, I feel like if you put pressure on the European economy a little bit, um, at least psychologically, um, to do something about um, the energy crisis, about how we're going to run out of oil in, in less than 50 years, and that's in addition to the climate crisis where we have extreme temperatures that are taking fresh water and dumping it into the ocean. Because think about it, aren't, aren't those... Um, Aren't icebergs usually freshwater? I guess it really depends, doesn't it? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I know in some places they are definitely freshwater. All right, but uh, are they? Wow, that's a really dumb question. But it's it's one of those things you just don't know if you don't if you don't know it. So, anyways, um, but more than anything, it, it's it's going to cause problems like we're seeing right now in um, Ethiopia and Kenya with large um, I don't I don't know what you call them hordes of insects. They're crickets that are basically eating everything. They're locusts. It's like a plague of locusts because the weather's been so extreme. But is that climate change? I feel like that might just be the nature of reality. Um, so hopefully people can put some chocolate on them eat, and eat the locusts. That's what I would do. Anyways, so um, what I was what I was actually talking about is how um, I'm running for president in 43 states. I can't run in all 50 apparently and um, I haven't been that good for um, partnerships with all countries because I do think that I need to sit down with my um, top business people and say uh, what relationships are weighing on our economy and what relationships are not weighing on our economy because I feel like Israel's a very expensive little business deal that we have to deal, deal with but I also feel like Israel is a nice place to have an ally, but then Israel doesn't act like an ally, but then Israel, more than anything, ruins us, ruins our ability to have um, positive relationships with certain people. But then again, can I ruin our ability to have a positive relationship with people because of the things I've said about Islam? Um, maybe. Um, but I do think that, for the most part, the people that are in charge in the Muslim world are realists. And if they're not realists, um, then would it really have to be that bad if we uh, killed them? And then they would not be using oil, and then we could just take their oil. And, I mean, that's, that's all I'm saying. But I feel like, for the most part, they will be realists. Um, but that could, if you elect me, that could force us into a war because they don't like me because of the things I've said about Islam. And then we are in a predicament where we have to go fight a war with the Middle East because we need, we, we like actually need certain things. And that's the reality about like whether or not you're pro war, um, if you're against war, it doesn't really matter when the resources run low. And I don't think most people understand that. Um, so, all right. So, but still, um, for the most part, like I've said, I, 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 I have no intention of trying to destroy the European economy. And I do recognize the European economy is bigger than the United States economy. Um, and they definitely produce a lot more cars. And, um, yeah, they, they actually are better than us at a lot of things. Uh, and that's why I keep talking about a partnership. Like, but, but I feel like no matter what, we all need to move towards a goal of um, basically no cars. Um, but that's really difficult, especially in the United States, because everyone in the United States is like, I'm in denial, I'm in denial, I'm in denial. And it's like, okay, I'm having a heart attack because you're all in denial. And I feel like what we should all do is agree that we're going to try to do something different. Like for, for example, I, I, you know how Kennedy had this uh, thing where he tried to get everyone to join the Peace Corps, where we're going to go overseas and we're going to go give people in Africa medicine or something like that. Or we're going to go build a, a sewer system. We're going to go do something like that in Africa. That's kind of what the Peace Corps does. And but um, so what we could do is have the um, zero emission core, where hey, um, do you want to go live commune style? And it like 
but everyone like but it's like technology commune style so uh, like i i agree to not have a car and i'm gonna go live in this community and i'm gonna do whatever job they tell me to do and uh, i'll do it for three years or something but really you might end up wanting to stay in the community because you might enjoy that community because um if there's anything i i i know is that i live in a house that's like um a half a million dollars and um i'd rather live in a shack with a community um so um i mean with with, with no car i mean it's it, like i i have no doubt in my mind but but it would have to be a shack in a really nice area um because really it's it's, it's all about where you live but um it's i mean but but this idea for like a peace core that's like a zero mission core is more about like how you live and um and the priority is more it isn't about like um, economic growth but even but sometimes you can have economic growth if you can work smart enough um, like but zero emissions isn't really a big economy idea um, but that's why I'm trying to encourage people to switch over to this second currency where we can um, where um, we I don't want to talk about it anymore yeah I feel like I've already lost the presidency now and it's like I didn't think I could ever get it before anyways so England um, English people are nice all of them um, my brother-in-law is like the nicest guy ever and like one of my best friends in Colorado is like the nicest person ever and um, so um, do we have to hurt their economy I feel like England just needs to try just like we're trying and I feel like England they wanted to step away from the Eurozone for a reason because they were worried about um, well, I, I actually don't, they were never on the Euro, so they weren't ever worried about the Euro. Why'd you guys get rid of, get out of the Eurozone? Because then you don't have to follow the, I'm like, I don't know. Like, I feel like being related to a, a massive currency like that is very, very useful. Um, cause like the, the, the countries that really get screwed are the countries that, uh, have relationships to very, um, very small groups of people that have currencies, but it's not just small groups of people. It's, it's people that no one wants their stuff. No one cares about their money. Like that, like no one has confidence in their money. Cause it's like, well, what are you going to give me? I, I, I don't really have much. I'm, I'm bringing to the table except for my cash. And it's like, well, your cash has to be related to something like your cash has to have a value in relationship to a lot of things. And that's why like the dollar has such dominance, but it's also because people trust the stability of the dollar and that's why it's just like I, I really don't think um like oh I, I i read about this company from mit and it's like like in this mit i read about this company in this mit journal and it was like like do you fully understand cryptocurrency or is it like it's like no i just wanted to code it and then i started a company but like i feel like a lot of people are starting these blockchain companies they don't even understand what blockchain is it's like no we're gonna give you coins for this and it's like what like everyone's gonna start giving coins yeah yeah and then you're gonna like stand on one foot and then you're gonna like understand the internet <laughs> and like and like no one understands the internet except for the person that invents like all these weird technologies with blockchain but um yeah i don't know blockchain can be dangerous if you let it have too much a hold over your currency but for the most part like there's nothing you can do about it like blockchain um is beyond um it is. It has a relationship with a lot of different currencies. Like different different types of cryptocurrencies have relationships with a lot of different types of cryptocurrencies, and some of those cryptocurrencies have lost a lot of credibility. 